Heat exchanger networks are used in a variety of industries, such as oil and gas and power production, for heat integration. As a means of designing an effective network, mathematical optimization is used, the aim of it being to make the best possible decisions to achieve the necessary heat exchange, while, of course, minimizing the cost. Such problems have been solved by optimization experts for years now in a sequential way where one decision leads to the next. Octoract suggests a new way of making these decisions. With Octoract's deterministic global optimization solver, the cost for a heat exchanger network can be the absolute minimum. How? Let's see. The question asked when it comes to the design of heat exchanger networks is what is the optimal network of heat exchanges to minimize annual operational cost and annualized investment cost? Where do costs come in in the design of heat exchanger networks and what are these networks anyways? Heat exchanger networks comprise of hot streams that need to be cooled down and cold streams that need to be heated up. Hot and cold utilities such as warm water, refrigerant, etc., which cost money and are used to cool down and heat up streams as needed. And devices called heat exchangers, which facilitate the exchange. Usually a hot stream and a cold utility will interact inside an exchanger in order for the hot stream to be cooled down to the required temperature. Same goes for the cold stream and the hot utility, only this time the goal is for the temperature of the cold stream to increase. Let's see a brief example of how decisions concerning the design of these networks are being taken today. Let's assume we want to design a heat exchanger network comprising of a hot stream H1 which arrives from a process with a temperature T in and needs to be cooled down to a temperature T out and two cold streams C1 and C2 which need to increase their input temperatures at the output of the network. At our disposal we also have a hot utility S1 and a cold utility W1 which have their own input and output temperatures and their use costs a specific amount of money. The decisions that need to be made for the network to be designed with the least possible cost can be given by solving three different optimization problems. Namely, what is the amount of cold and hot utility streams to be used in the process? How many heat exchanges are needed for the interactions between streams and utilities? And what are the characteristics of said heat exchanges? such as their heat exchanging area. Deciding on which heat exchangers to use will have an effect on the cost of the network since their cost is related to the heat exchanging area. Let's look at this logically, all the way thinking of our aim, which is to minimize the cost for the realization of the network. If no utilities are used, then their cost will be zero. Can the hot and cold streams available to us achieve the necessary heat exchange by interacting solely with each other? In our example, this is possible. Thus, it is not needed to use any utilities. Since no utilities will be used, the number of heat exchangers needed will be two. One for the heat exchange between one cold stream and the hot one, and one between the other cold stream and the hot one. Now, using the relationship between the cost of the heat exchanger and the heat exchanging area, which as we can see is nonlinear, we find that we need to acquire two heat exchangers with their corresponding areas HE1 and HE2 shown in the table. Having made these decisions, the minimal annualized investment cost for the network is 121,500 United States dollars. What will this network look like? Like this. H1 will come from another process. It will be divided in H11, which will interact inside heat exchanger one with the first cold stream, and it will heat it up. 
H12 will interact with the second cold stream in heat exchanger 2 and will heat it up as well, then the two streams of H1 will be cooled down and the process will continue. The previous solution not only sounds logical, but also incurs a reasonable cost, right? Well, not that much. If a simultaneous optimization approach is used, the results we get for the same network are different. Using Octoract's DGO solver and solving an until now really challenging large-scale non-convex mixed integer non-linear problem, we get the absolute best solution. We get the absolute minimum cost. How? By using multiple processes to solve a problem that until today would take ages to solve in less than a minute. With Octoract Solver, we find that it is best to use both cold and hot utilities to achieve the necessary heat exchange and acquire four heat exchangers, each with heat exchanging areas as seen in the table. The heat exchanger network will look like this now. H1, the hot stream, comes from a previous process. It is subdivided in two substreams. H11 interacts with the first cold stream inside heat exchanger 1. C1 is heated up and then it is further heated up with the use of S1, the hot utility, inside heat exchanger 4. C2 interacts with a second substream of H1 in heat exchanger 2. Then the two substreams of H1 meet again and H1 is further cooled down in heat exchanger 3 with the use of cold utility W1. And the million dollar question is literally how much will the cost be for this network to be built? Counterintuitively, the cost to build this network is 93,739 United States dollars, a staggering 23% less than the cost incurred from the traditional sequential solution. And you might ask, if I can have such a cost reduction, why wasn't I able to get this solution until now? Because Octoract's deterministic global optimization solver harnesses the power of multiple processors to solve complex optimization problems, which until now could not be solved in a reasonable amount of time. Here we can see the terminal while the solver is running using only two processors. It is very obvious that the process of solving the problem is slow. And even after six minutes, there is no solution available. Now, if the number of cores is increased to 90, amazingly the solution is found in less than a minute. If what Octoract does interests you, please get in touch. It's a great opportunity for you to be part of our early access program. We will be happy to hear from you.